Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, March, I think it's six or seven, Tuesday to Wednesday, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Noon. This will not resonate with everybody. By the way, this is Ted. I didn't know. I know you can't see his face. Ted. Yeah, there you go. He wanted to join us. We want some Teddy time. So, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please feel free <laughs> to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. All right, Cancer, let's get some cards here. And then I'm going to channel a message from Spirit, from the angels. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. All right, Ted, you with me? All right. Ooh, we have the Page of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Okay. Get a couple more. Can I get a message? One more, please. One more spirits. Oops. Okay. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Okay. Let me get a message from Spirit and then we will continue. Let it be known, Cancer, who you are. Don't be afraid to present your true, authentic self to others. That's important right now. In doing that, there's a, there's, there's a glow that comes with this, they're saying, but there's also, there's expansion that will come with this. So by presenting yourself as the authentic you. You're offering others your true light, okay? And that's a benefit to both, the receiver and the sender, okay? Because it reminds them of the same that you're presenting. It reminds them to be authentic to who they are and to not, and, and to stand in it, to, to stand within that power. Okay. All right, Cancer. Let's see what's going on here. Who you've been looking at? Either you or somebody's looking at you online, spying. It could be, all right, it could be this King of Pentacles, because the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, is here, but it's not you. So this person has been spying on your Facebook, on Instagram, on whatever social media that you have. I don't feel that you're speaking to this person right now with the Four of Swords next to the Page of Swords. Okay? And this person at one time burdened you. I think this person gave you a lot of problems. But you were sexually attracted to this person with the Queen of Wands here. I do feel the Queen of Wands is you. So let's clarify this King of Pentacles. Let's clarify who this King of Pentacles is for Cancer. Who is this King of Pentacles for Cancer? Let's see. The King of Wands. Yeah. So this person probably has fire in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the King of Wands can sometimes be player energy. Okay. Now, the King of Wands is very sexy, very confident, usually very good looking. Um, wait a minute. Okay. Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's truth and clarity that came out um, about this individual. Let's see, why are they spying on you? 
I feel this is a person that you were with, but then I feel like you got together with them multiple times. That's what I'm feeling. But this time you told them to leave because of this truth and clarity. Either that or they presented you with a certain truth and clarity that you needed in order to tell them sayonara, right? All right, let's check out this Page of Swords. What's with the Page of Swords, please? What's with the Page of Swords? Why is this here? Why is this here for? Why is this here? Yeah, the Six of Swords, because you told this person to leave, perhaps you were living with them, but the Six of Swords is moving on, or you moved on from this person, because you didn't find peace with this person, you just didn't. I think on the contrary, yeah, the Two of Pentacles, you're incommunicado with this person, you peaced out. You may still be thinking about going back to this person with the two of pentacles, juggling with this decision. Okay, so we're going to clarify the, um, well, let me clarify the ten of wands first, okay? Clarify this ten of wands, please. Yeah, five of cups. The ace of cups and the hangman. You had a lot of love for this person. You probably still do. But there was a lot of sadness, a lot of burdens and responsibility that came with this person. There was very much a heaviness that you needed to piece out from, which is what you did with the Four of Swords, okay? Sort of in this meditative state. But um, it's allowing you to really seek truth within and figure out where you want to go. So... Let's see about this Queen of Wands, and then I'm going to see if there's anybody coming towards you. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Oh, you've been thinking about sending a message to them. Okay. Can I have some advice on this for Cancer? Let's see if you should send a message to them, right? Knight of Swords. Well, that's somebody who sends a message, but it is a little bit brash. I feel that what Spirit is telling you is if you do send them a message, then give them your truth. Don't sugarcoat it. Oops. Okay. Anybody new coming towards Cancer? Let's see. Anybody new coming towards Cancer? Ooh, the High Priestess. Could be a Gemini or a Pisces. This is somebody who's very, very intuitive, keeps things close to their chest. Um, what are they hiding? Either, wait a minute. <coughs> hmm. Your intuition may tell you that this person is coming. Clarify this high priestess as to who's coming. Ooh, three of swords and three of pentacles. Is this referring to, okay, okay, Cancer. If you communicate with this individual, okay, and end up taking them back, you're putting yourself in the middle of a third party situation. It will break your heart again because they will be hiding a third party and you will not be able to work together with them. Could be a Capricorn with the devil here. This could be very tempting to stay in because you are sexually attracted to them. Very. Yep, see? Hidden elements. This is your card, Cancer and Pisces. So what's your advice for Cancer? What's your advice for Cancer when it comes to this individual? They didn't really want to tell me if there was anybody new coming in. Although it could, okay, they just corrected me. With the High Priestess here, I do feel your intuition is going to sense somebody coming towards you. Okay, so pay attention to that. Temperance, they're saying balance yourself out, heal, okay? 
and get ready for change because this is the number 14, which reduces to a five and fives are all about change. This is also the card of Sagittarius. You may have that in your chart, but seek to heal, seek to change and don't miss an opportunity that is coming. That's why I say pay attention to this individual that's coming. Okay, and they're saying that's who's here. So make sure that you heal and you're paying attention and you're aware, all right? With this 10 of wands here, you got to get your head out of, well, I'd say your head out of your ass, but uh, the, the head is stuck in the wand. You can't see anything. So you have to lift your head and actually see what's coming, feel what, what's coming, more importantly, and pay attention to the opportunities that will be presented to you, okay? All right, Cancer, I hope this made sense. I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs, the information is in the description box below. You have a great rest of your day, Cancer, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.